guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sitting in my car, I'm outside Mitre 10. Um, I thought this would be a good place to start this video as this video is going to be all about the soil mixes I use. So first I need to go here and pick up some supplies and I thought I might as well take you along. So let's go shopping. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my greenhouse. <laughs> so I am back from Mitre 10. I thought I would do a little haul of the stuff I got. Um, I kind of got a little bit more than what I went in for, but you know, that happens. So I picked up this garden sprayer, um, which is a two litre size and I plan to use it in my greenhouse here to mist and water my plants, my propagations and seedlings and things. Um, because our hose doesn't actually reach to the greenhouse, which is really frustrating. Um, it reaches to the door, but not inside, so I'll be filling this up and using this. I picked up some Tui um, seaweed plant tonic um, to feed the plants. I picked up some more terracotta pots. I got some cocoa cocoa peat whatever you want to call it um, I'm really interested to try this in propagation I've heard it's been I've heard people have had great success with that and it's pretty cheap like this whole block makes up eight to nine liters of planting material and it was only like four dollars four dollars ninety so I thought that was pretty good okay so I picked up a couple of these big plastic trays which I want to put all my um, little pots and propagations on so like I use these little pots and I thought they would be perfect to fit in this tray and then I can put these trays on my prop shelves um, just makes it a bit easier to keep them all together I picked up this garden wall so it's like a felt pocket with nine holes um, which you plant plants in and I just want to see how it goes so I'd love a, like a little living wall in the greenhouse so I thought I would pick one of these up to try it was $21.50 um, yeah I'll just see how it goes I also got some bird seed because I like to feed the birds in my garden and I picked up some orchid bark as well which, which is this I just get this from my 10 um, I did want some coarse pumice but they didn't have any um, but the floor of my greenhouse is coarse pumice so I'll just scoop some up and put it in my potting mix um, but yeah so that's my little haul now I will get on to showing you how I mix my potting mix um, yeah so these are the containers I like to use for my mixing my potting mix up in bulk this is the one I use for new potting mix and this is where I put like old potting mix that has maybe only been used for a couple of months and I put this in the compost bin outside so I don't let that go to waste. But this is the fresh stuff that I mix to plant my plants into. Um, so I just have some organic potting mix, I have some fine pumice and obviously my orchid bark and then I do like to mix in some coarse pumice which looks like this <laughs> this is what my greenhouse floor is made out of um, I really need to stop like dinging it up and putting it in my potting mix because uh, I don't know if you can see but there's like a bit of a hollow here <laughs> where I've been <laughs> pinching it um, so yeah normally I would buy a bag of that but they didn't have any so I'm just going to use what I have and I'll show you sort of what the mixture looks like this is one that I've had pre-mixed so um, I didn't obviously being pregnant and having a baby I haven't been able to get out to buy things so this is sort of just what I had so it's fine pumice potting mix um, some tree fern fiber a little bit of moss just whatever I had I've used and I've mixed in there normally I do like it a bit chunkier than this um, this is a bit fine for me um, yeah, so which is why I got the orchid bark. So let's get to mixing.
chunky. If you squeeze it together, it just crumbles apart again. So it's a nice loose mix. Great for majority of your house plants, um, especially for me. So this is quite a personal thing because I am a overwaterer. So I like my potting mixes to be super well draining. Um, it sometimes means that you do need to water your plants more, but I kind of prefer that because I can monitor like how much water they're getting and I know with a good draining soil the water's not going to be clogged in the soil and it's not going to be sitting around the plant's roots which will potentially cause root rot. So yeah that's my basic sort of um, potting mix that I use for most of my house plants and I do adjust the levels of things in it depending what I'm potting up. Um, so like this is the basic um, mix that I will use for majority of my plants um, and I will mix it up depending what I'm planting. So say I'm planting an anthurium which has really chunky um, white, if you've ever seen them, they're really thick chunky white roots. I like to add a lot more orchid bark, I like to add some sphagnum moss as well. Um, I, they like a really good chunky loose mix um, and then for something like a string of pearls or a chain of hearts. If you watched my last video where I potted up my chain of hearts, you would have seen I add a lot more fine pumice because their roots are very fine, they have a shallow root system and they are like a semi-succulent so they don't like a heavy soil um, and I find this chunky mix is a little bit too chunky for them so I like to put a lot of the fine pumice in and that just allows the roots to have contact with the potting mixture that you're using. Um, yeah, I think that sort of concludes my little potting mix thing. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys found this interesting. I hope you found it informative. If you have any questions, again, leave them down in the comment box below. I am more than happy to answer them. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!